Hello everyone, this is Data from JGX and today we are going to talk about cooldown. Uh, there is a common misconception, like very very common misconception, that uh, if I have a gun with 10% cooldown, it's as if I have 1.1 of that gun. Or that I have a, a gun with 40% cooldown, I have 1.4 of that gun. It isn't so. If you have a mech with energy cooldown 50% and you have one weapon, your weapon is not 50% stronger than the base weapon. It's a lot more. Now, this may seem strange to you. Most people don't understand this at all. They just don't get it. But now we're going to go through it with examples. Let's assume that we have a weapon that deals 20 damage every 4 seconds with a cooldown of 4. The DPS is obtained by dividing the damage by the cooldown. So a weapon that does 20 damage and has 4 cooldown will do 5 DPS. What happens to our DPS if we put the 10% cooldown? Does our weapon improve by 10%? No, it doesn't. It improves by more. So the 10% of 4, because the cooldown cuts by 10%, the cooldown quirk cuts by 10% the cooldown time, which is 4 seconds. So cutting 4 seconds by 10%, you need to cut 4 seconds by 0 0.4. So the new cooldown, if the old one was 4, the new cooldown is 3.6 seconds. So the new DPS is 20, the damage, divided per the new DPS, 3.6. The new DPS, instead of being 5, is 5 dot periodical 5. So 0 point periodical 5 more than the original DPS. This is a proportion. How much is 0 0.5? 0 0.5555 in relationship to the original amount. So the, if the original amount is 100%, how much percent is this new amount? This new amount is 11.1%. So applying 10% cooldown improves your weapon by 11%, not by 10%. And this is already pretty important. But there is more. We will see with the other calculations below that it does not scale in a linear way, but in an exponential way. So a 10 gap cooldown between 10 and 20 is not the same as the same 10 gap cooldown between uh, 40 and 50 or 60 and 70. So the same gap if put between two higher numbers means more buff because it's an exponential. The more you rise the cooldown, the more buff you get. So if you double the cooldown from 10 to 20, this number, 11.1, .1, doesn't double. It increases by more than double. If you repeat the same calculations we have done before, you'll find out that the new DPS on 20% cooldown is not 22.2, but it's more, it's 25%. And if you put 40% cooldown, it's not quadruple compared to 10%. It's more. It's almost six times. 
So 40% cooldown is not four times stronger quirk than 10%. It's more than six times as strong. 40% cooldown means 66% buff. For obvious reasons, when you get to 50% cooldown, if you're cutting your cooldown in half, so instead of reloading in four seconds, it's reloading in two seconds, you're shooting twice as fast. So your DPS is increased by 100%. What happens if we go farther? If you keep doing the calculations and you go farther, you'll see that, for example, putting a cooldown quirk 70% means that your DPS is increased by 233%. So basically, if you have one weapon with 70% cooldown, you'll, you basically have four of the original weapons. More than four, because it's more than 200%. What does this mean in game? That once you take a mech like this, energy cooldown 50%, again, energy cooldown 50%, you apply the skills, the skills stack on top of the quirk, and it adds a uh, cooldown 12%, 50% plus 12%, it's actually 62%. So a locust with one large pulse and 62% work, it's not a locust with just one and a half large pulse. This is almost three large pulse DPS. Of course, you would need to sustain the heat. But, this is the DPS of almost three large pulses. You, you would need to calculate with these same formulas here to see how much it is. Of course, it's, it's exponential, so even small gaps of increase, like from 60 to 65 to 70 to 75 to 80, even small gaps here means huge increases in DPS. For obvious reasons, if you set the cooldown to 100%, the DPS is plus infinite. I hope this helps you guys. It helps you guys to understand the mechanics of the quirks and to better evaluate how strong a cooldown quirk is for some mechs. With this being said, if you haven't done that yet, I ask you to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and share this with your friends. Thank you for listening, and I'll catch you guys next time.